Riri thought about you. She did not forget about you, bruh. What up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys, sharing with you all the new Fenty stuff. I'm so excited about this video because the other day I got a package from Fenty. Fenty Beauty is like taking the whole makeup world by storm. This is what I got in the mail, it's the box. Four foundations in here. We've got a precision makeup sponge. We've got the new hydrating primer and a brush. Uh, it's Fenty, so <laughs> I've yet to try a product from Fenty that I really didn't like. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be awesome. There was some people who said that the foundation, the original um, regular foundation, which is this one, is not their favorite just because it's not as, it's too dry, it's too matte. Um, and people with dry skin can't wear it. I am not a dry skin gal. I am an oily skin gal, but I love a dewy finish foundation. I love a good dewy foundation that doesn't make me oily. But I also am not opposed to having a little bit of shine because I just feel like the older I get, the more I appreciate having a glowy, dewy makeup look as opposed to like a completely matte, flat face. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're going for. We're going for the dew. You know, I like the way my skin looks with no foundation. Like I like the way my skin, like the light bounces off of it. You know how it gives like this very nice, healthy glow. That's what we want our foundation to look like. So that's what I'm hoping this foundation will give me. Hydrating Longwear Foundation, it's serving hydration. Medium to full coverage with a natural finish, perfect for normal to dry skin. Available in the same 50 shades as the original Pro Filter. We're gonna just use all Fenty for the face today. Um, I do have the Fenty concealer and the Fenty powder, so we're gonna use that as well along with the new foundation and primer. The last time I did a foundation video with Fenty, I was the shade 385. It is the summertime. Uh, I'm a little more bronze than I usually am. So they sent me four shades. They sent me 345, 8, 360, 385, and 390. I'm definitely not 345 and I'm definitely not 360. 385 is my normal shade when I'm not tan. So hopefully 390 works. This is what the foundation looks like. It is in a different packaging this time. It is more of a squeeze tube kind of situation, which is good because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge fan of glass bottles. That's just me, only because when I travel, I don't feel safe and secure. Like I don't want my stuff to just explode on me. But it still comes with a pump, which makes me extremely happy because I love pumps. And we are also going to try the primer, of course, because we want to, you know, give the primer a go. A hydrating primer is not scary to me. I love hydrating primers because I feel like they help balance my skin so that I don't, my skin doesn't feel like it has to overwork. So the hydrating primer is a little more pink. I don't know if you get it. This is the matte primer. Just two pumps. And if it does feel a little bit too oily or whatever, I can always add the mattifying primer, but we wanna make sure that we get the full effect of the hydrating foundation. So I'm not gonna use mattifying primer because I don't wanna throw off the formula or anything. I want you guys to get a true idea of what the foundation is like. That is the primer. The primer doesn't feel oily at all. It actually just feels like a moisturizer to me. Um, my, my moisturizers normally feel like this and it doesn't look extremely greasy. Like I don't see a huge amount of shine or whatever. It's just a healthy glow. I'm gonna swatch a little bit. This is 385. I'm gonna swatch a little bit of it on my face. Now, I'm not sure if this foundation oxidizes. I haven't watched anybody's review yet, so I don't know how this foundation really is. And then this is 390. Me in the summertime definitely needs a little bit more of a warm undertone. And I think 390 is gonna do that for me. So I'm gonna do 390. This is the Kabuki buff foundation brush. I love kabuki brushes. I actually use the Fenty kabuki brush for face and body, which is, it came with the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. I love kabuki brushes for just applying foundation all over the face really quickly. It literally takes like two seconds to blend my foundation. So this is the brush. I love this already. Oh, I love this. The size is nice. It's gonna cover a lot of surface area and it's gonna really 
give you a nice amount of coverage. If you like a fuller coverage, then a Kabuki brush is definitely the way to go. It buffs it into the skin very nicely, but still keeps the coverage. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take this and apply it to our face. The only thing I don't like about these brushes is that they're so pretty that I don't want to use them because I don't want to make them turn colors. Okay, so, so far, liking how this applies, it is not as full coverage as, of course, Original Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I feel like this foundation is giving me sheer glow vibes. NARS Sheer Glow is one of my favorite, all time favorite foundation formulas because it's literally like skin in a bottle, okay? This is giving me that. Oh. Oh. Um, this foundation literally looks like my skin. Like, hold on, let me moisturize my lips real quick to kind of caress me. It looks like I didn't apply anything, but my skin is just amazing. I want to apply more to see how it layers. So I'm going to apply more. And it is buildable because I am seeing me, I'm seeing a little bit more coverage. Like it just looks like skin. Riri. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face and yeah, I'll come back with the rest of the review. So I finished my face and this is everything. If you guys wanna see a full tutorial on the whole entire look, it'll be on my IGTV. I'm going to upload the whole tutorial there. So um, you guys can check that out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. But Basically, I used pretty much all Fenty products. I used the Fenty concealer, the Fenty setting powder, the Fenty bronzer, the Fenty highlight, Fenty matchsticks. The only thing that wasn't Fenty that I used is the eyebrows, lashes, things that Fenty don't have yet. When are you coming out with some brow products, Riri? Let us know. All of the details that, of, of everything else that I use will be in the description box, by the way, so you won't have to worry about that. Yeah, girl. The foundation is hydrating, of course, and it is not matte. I feel like it'll just be the same as all of my other foundations. I get oily, like there are no foundations that completely 100% stop my oils from coming through. And so I'm not really expecting this to do anything more than my other foundations would um, because it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel greasy. It feels like just a nice hydrating foundation. My face feels soft. Obviously I'm conscious of the fact that I have on makeup so I can't get rid of the fact that I know that I have on makeup, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. Very breathable very lightweight um, when applying the other products on top I didn't really notice that it was like moving around or you know doing anything funky weird like some foundations might do when you apply other products on top this of course performed amazingly because it's was literally like putting on skin it's like skin in a bottle so <laughs> there was no issues with applying other products on top um, I don't really know what else to say about it. My first impression is that I do like it. It's very versatile in my opinion, um, as opposed to the soft matte foundation, which you don't get that versatility. Um, with this foundation, I feel like I have to wear a full face every time I wear this because it is MAC. Like it gives you like a good base for you to do contouring, highlighting, um, you know, putting a full face on. You could literally put this on and go out the door. You don't have to put, in, put on anything else. If you just want a little bit of coverage, this is what you need. You have dark spots, acne, things of that nature. You would still need to conceal with this. This is not a full coverage foundation, but this is for people who just want something simple, something quick, something to throw on in the morning when you're on your way to work or on your way to get groceries or whatever. And that's what I would use it for. Um, just like an everyday look. Uh, if you're a simple girl, this is it. This is you. For all of you who wanted and hydrating, a hydrating foundation from Fenty this is for you sis for you with you in mind the people who like skin like foundations this is for you it had you in mind okay Riri thought about you she did not forget about you bruh I'm going to do a wear test see how it lasts throughout the day and then I'm gonna come back later tonight and share with you guys It is one o'clock right now um, and I will come back later tonight and share with you guys 
what I think about the foundation. I am going to be outside and it is like a 90 degrees outside. So um, I am going to like, you know, run some errands, do some stuff outside so that you guys can get a full idea. Um, but I think, I think I'm going to like it. Um, let me get a close up so you guys can kind of see. So that's what my skin looks like. As you can see, you can still see texture and stuff. I did apply setting powder on top, so um, it does have more of a, not matte matte, but it has a little bit more of a matte appearance because of that. If you don't apply powder, it is gonna come out looking like more skin-ish. So it just depends on the look that you're going for. If you want that dewy, glassy look, don't apply powder, don't set it. But if you do want more of just a natural matte situation, applying powder is gonna give you that. It probably won't last all day. It probably won't look like this all day. So I'll come back and let you guys know what it looks like later. Um, but I do like to set my face just so I make sure that it doesn't move on me. I have to use powder. I am just, I don't know why I'm, I can't. One day I will try this foundation not using powder and see how it holds up. Um, but I have to use powder for the full complete look. That's it. I will come back later and share with you guys the foundation and how it held up. So. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I just wanted to really quickly update you guys. It is now 7.01. We had a fun day. Um, I can't tell you what we did today, but I'm really excited about it. Big things popping. If you haven't been caught up on Life with the Logans, don't worry because we haven't been recording anything. Uh, but a new vlog is going up, so be sure to check out the vlog channel because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff coming up soon. Um, anyway, oh, the foundation. Okay, so this is what my face looks like after you know some hours of being out um honestly this looks about the same as all my other foundations would normally look as far as oiliness goes my face usually is this oily no matter what foundation i'm wearing matte hydrating silky satin marshmallow honestly it doesn't matter how much i cake on it doesn't matter if i'm not wearing any makeup it does not matter my face is going to be this shiny i'm not mad at it in fact i actually love that i have oily skin now that i'm older and I understand why I have it. Um, my grandma has extremely oily skin and she has like no wrinkles and she's over 70. So I think my skin's gonna last a long time. The elasticity will always be there because it's always lubricated. Do you know what I'm saying? We're just ready to stretch. Um, that did not come out the way that I had intended. Anyway, we're just going to give this foundation a thumbs up. I don't have any issues with it. It hasn't really moved. It still looks the same as when I put it on, just a bit more shiny. Um, but like I said, nothing out of the ordinary. It's virtually invisible as far as like how I can feel it, you know? It's like there's nothing there. It's nothing on my face. Feels very, very comfortable. Um, I haven't been sweating or anything, but I mean, it doesn't claim to be a waterproof or sweatproof foundation. So I wasn't really testing for that. I really just wanted to see how it was gonna hold up um, with my oils and it looks really good. I'm gonna do a close up. Um, this is what my skin looks like up close. You know, not a lot of creasing in the forehead area. And that's only after seven hours of wear. Probably I'm going to wear this foundation all night. We are going to go on a date tonight, um, me and my hair spin, so. When we do that, um, I probably won't see you guys after the date. I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I just wanted to say that this foundation's awesome. You should try it, that's it, the end, boom. If you have oily skin, I wouldn't say that you can't wear this foundation. I think in the winter time, this is going to be my go-to if not one of my favorites because of the way that it applies and it just feels so nice on the skin my skin is a lot drier in the winter so this is going to be an amazing winter foundation for me for the summertime probably not so much i typically don't wear hydrating foundations in the summer just because you know it's summertime so i'm gonna wear a matte foundation more than likely but at the same time this is a beautiful foundation that you could wear to like an event or something where you're not going to be outside in the heat and you could probably get away with wearing it in the summer too. So if you are oily skinned, I wouldn't stay away from it. I would try it and see how you like it. Get a sample of it, see if it's your jam. I would say that if you are a Fenty fan and you just wanted to try a foundation and weren't really a fan of the soft matte, 
I would definitely try this one and see how you like it because it's probably going to work for you a little bit better. I know a lot of people didn't like the original formula of the Fenty foundation so this might be something that you might enjoy a little bit more. For my dry skin girls, this foundation is definitely for you. You are definitely going to like it. That's all. That's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know you want to see more videos like this from me. Of course, you already know I'm going to try my best to film when I can. Um, there are a lot of new foundations coming out this, I don't know why I got the hiccups. Woo. There are a lot of new foundations coming out this month. So I am going to be doing some more foundation reviews and some more products that I'm gonna be trying out. I am kind of, you know, in the mood to film some makeup videos these days. So I will be um, giving you guys a little bit more beauty content than I usually have been doing lately. Before I go, I do want to blot. I'm going to just use a powder puff to soak up some of this oil. It looks really good. I'm going to apply a tiny bit of powder. I'm going to just take a little bit of the Fenty setting powder and just touch up some of the arrows. Just gonna dab a little bit of that in the top and good as new. Looking good.